Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokul Lover, and let's continue playing as that there German Reich with a thick Hungary and a thinner Romania against the Allies. Now, last time we went to war with the Allies, specifically Belgium to start with. Um, but we have had a slow schlieffen plan, which is fine with me. I, I really don't care. I mean, I'm just going to do whatever I feel like at this point. It's, I want to play the way I feel like, you know, just my personal way of playing right now. Uh, feel free to play the way you want to play, but, you know, whatever works for you. Uh, right now, though, the big thing, I guess technically from two days ago, three, two, three days ago, someone said, mm, I've had bits and spots where this microphone does cut out. Uh, I might have pressed a key that might have made it stop. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not really sure. But that's why I'm trying to speak a little slower and to see if it can, happens again. Also, I forgot, like last time, to send in a lot of planes to help start bombing the hell out of everything. And I've also be decided to spend, send some planes to Rome to help the Italians out against the French Navy and some of the British Navy that's also down here. So let us definitely see what's going to happen there. And with the four tank divisions that we do have, we could attack here or we could attack down here. Let's see. You have quite a few divisions and you also have a lot of divisions over there. Or we could just go ahead and plan our invasion of the Netherlands instead, which actually I might just do instead. Just because the Netherlands obviously doesn't have that many divisions, or not very strong. And if we get rid of the Netherlands, that just brings us closer to having uh, more dominance over the English Channel with the planes, as well as France itself. Also, we are letting the Italians do a lot of work for us. Uh, by them having attacking through the mountains down here. I'm not sure what these mountains are called. Someone, I'm sure, someday will tell me, if not tomorrow or today. Uh, yeah, the Italians have lost a lot of men. Yeah, but I haven't lost that many, which is good for us. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get the time going on, and let's. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, we got a lot of spare tanks. Oh, good. Field Hospital 2s are great. It's 1940. Let's get some better infantry stuff. More defense, please. Send the tanks this way so that when we do go to war, the tanks will be ready to go with some sort of planning bonus. Also, when we go to war with the Dutch... Oh, baby, do we hit something? <gasps> we actually sunk a French convoy, even though we did lose two planes, which isn't very good. But we did maybe hit some subs. That's good. That's a good thing to know. Uh, anything up here, perhaps? No, I didn't think there would be anything up here, but you never know. And the Tyrian Sea, we are losing a couple planes. We sunk a sub. They do have some convoys, which means we do need some more naval bombers here so we can do more damage so that our planes themselves just won't get completely destroyed. Uh, do that. Just increase the amount of planes that we have here. I will probably have to stop the amount of planes that are actually going that direction. You guys are doing a fine job over here. And since we're doing this, I really don't mind adding maybe some more down near Italy. Because they could really use some help. If we can destroy the French Navy, that's that's great. It's absolutely great. Because they do have a pretty good sized Navy. It might be outdated, but they're pretty pretty strong. And also, they have mutinies, so that's, that's also pretty good for us. Uh, anything down here? A couple of convoys, yeah. Oh, looks like they were attacking us a little bit. I don't mind trying to entice the enemy for them to attack us. I really don't mind that. Like, just put some divisions away, but bring them back very soon enough so that, uh, ooh, a sub was sunk. Awesome. So that, uh, we can bait them into attacking us and then bring back, or bring back our reserves. Nice. Another sub was sunk. Great job, guys. Another sub was sunk, as well as another sub. As well as another sub in exchange for three planes, but also three enemy convoys. That's pretty good. Alright, awesome. What are we building? More refineries, more fa ma factories, factories, factories. British convoy was sunk. Ah, we go to war with the Dutch. Awesome. Uh, early sub hole sunk, as well as another early hole sub. The Italians are really killing themselves. Uh, whatever. They choose to attack, attack, attack. That is none of my business. However, with the tanks, I will let them go a little crazy and give them a little bit of a force attack button. You guys, go right on ahead. Call in our allies. Do we have any su extra support we can maybe call in? Uh, we've got an extra 100 planes here. I will might as well add you to this group. I'm not sure where exactly you need to go. Whatever. Do we have any more? We have interwar bombers. 
We got maybe another 100 close air support. That'd be good. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Tactical bombers close air support. Do that. Uh, you know what? If you need to, do that as well. Screw it. Why not? And I'll put you on the tanks. Just because the tanks are really what we're going to focus pretty hard on. Because that's how we're going to maneuver ourselves. Very good. Alright, boys. Now that they've joined the... Now that the Netherlands have joined the Allies... I'm going to have to go and justify on Luxembourg so we can get them out of the freaking way. Uh... These are set up individually, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Since you have all five of you guys here, now you can have one massive line besides Luxembourg. Which is actually, in my opinion, probably a pretty good idea. Offer peace. No, we're already at war with them. Oh, I need to tell you guys to go ahead. Tell the tanks to go right on ahead. For you guys, just fill out the line. When the tanks move in, you move in. Uh, yeah. And they're starting to attack us back. Awesome. Nice. Two more French convoys. Another convoy. I'm letting, r really, the Italians take a brunt. Most of the hits. Which is fine with me. Italy, you know, you love them, but you gotta understand they, they're only so useful, I guess. And this is really a test to see if they can actually hold their own. Uh, good, good, good. I'm, I'm just a little concerned about the oil at the moment. Alright, you guys... Yeah, go ahead and stop. I want you to get to Amsterdam. That's where I really want you guys. The infantry will pull up wherever it needs to. Oh, two Italian subs versus two, or two Italian convoys versus two Italian, two French subs. Another French sub, two more French subs, French sub and a convoy in exchange for a few planes. This is actually, it looks like, helping out the Italian Navy at least a little bit so they can get Corsica. Good, good, good. I want Amsterdam. Uh, send half. Yes. Good, good. Good, good, good. I don't want these guys encircled or anything like that. Uh, not bad. If you could take the port, that would be great. Ooh, oh baby. So we lost four planes and a convoy in exchange for a sub, two light cruisers, and six destroyers. This is doing pretty well for us now. Awesome and awesome. French Navy... Looking a little depleted there. And I guess I got rid of their mutinies. Oh, do we have someone up here? A, oh, Dutch destroyer. All right, then. I want you to be extremely careful. These are only infantry battalions made up within these divisions. So their attack isn't super great. So I'm going to be very careful with them. You have to be careful with just infantry. That's why I gave them field hospitals. Awesome. Great work, guys. Tanks, you're doing the Lord's work. Uh, I could probably send one tank division this way. Maybe we'll need to. Oh, we got extra military factories. Well, what do we need? We need rubber, aluminum, and tungsten. We definitely need more medium tanks. Uh, I don't mind doing that. We definitely need more tanks. I definitely need more resources, but I can't really get any of these. So, rubber's out of the question. Aluminum... I can do that with aluminum. Tungsten. Soviet Union has actually got the most it can give me. Nice. The Dutch have already capitulated. Pretty normal. I do have some tea here. Instead of coffee for once. Uh, yeah, we'll get some stuff later. And we have a few extra dockyards. Ooh. Well, they're making a cruiser. Destroyers. Not bad. Not bad. Once we capitulated the Dutch. Uh, we might need some convoys, honestly. Go ahead and make more cruisers first, though. Yeah, might as well do that or something like that. Um, you know what? We could send the high seas fleet out. It's pretty good for screening. Here, I, uh, I don't want to send my my fleet out though. I just, we only have so much resources, so many resources to use. Looks like this is unfortunate. The Belgians were trapped in. <laughs> The Netherlands, wow. That's kind of a weird thing to say. That's a little odd, but that's okay. Nice, sub was sunk. Four enemy subs. Another four enemy subs, and then another five French submarinos. Ah, uh, saying subs so much. So many subs, and two destroyers. That's good. 
Uh, fuel refining, that's actually very good. It is 1940. We're doing research speed. We will only get better planes, better radar, but I think since we're using our military right now, let's get some improved infantry equipment. Go ahead and push them in a little harder. Uh, also, we have Coast Guard divisions from our allies. We will need to definitely put you in these areas. 39, da, da, da. Good. Yeah. That'll be good. And two more subs. Another submarine. And two more submarinos. Very good. And three more subs. Awesome. Thanks. Nice, you guys did a great job with this. Great, great job. Now, let's use our tanks. And we will go around this area. I love these tankies. Love the tanks. Let's go ahead and kind of reform yourselves. Uh, my goal here, if you're wondering if I'm going to pull off a Dunkirk here, not really planning on it. No, my goal right now isn't for me to inflict as many casualties because my goal is ultimately just to kill off the a allies. Um, I need to capitulate the French and the British at the moment. Other than that, we can just annex everyone else and then we don't really have to worry about the manpower issues. So, But let's talk about carving up Greece. Ah, territory that Bulgaria considers her own was handed to Greece after the Second Balkan War and the Great War. If we write this wrong, we would bind Bulgaria to us. However, if they're not strong enough to claim it on their own, are they a worthy ally for us? Well, they already are our ally. They only have six divisions after they gave me a bunch of their own. I think they kind of already are our ally. See, there's actually... Bulgaria has a claim on Thrace, this area, not a core. They also have Central Macedonia. I will support them since they already gave us a bunch of divisions. They helped us carve up Macedonia. It was a good time. National... Because, because, God, you really need that. Army Innovations 2 would be very awesome as well. Um, research Eastern Clams. The fate, actually, let's do Fate of Greece, because I want to see if we can carve them up. Uh, Greece rejected the demands. All right. Let's see. Guaranteed by the Kingdom of Romania. Well, Romania... Uh, oh, that's, that's hungry. Romania... As becoming more and more fascist, so they refuse. We get a war goal against them. We'll, we'll focus on them when we're done with France. We have two years to do that, so. All right, very good, my good friends. Very good. We'll let everyone kind of restructure themselves. Where are the tanks? They are good to go. Ah, uh, time to go ahead. And I want you know what? Since we're telling everyone to go ahead, just give them a slight light push. A little oomph to nudge the enemies along. Do we have any other planes? No, we don't. We have to wait a little bit longer. Then put the I put the tanks in the worst positions because I don't want my infantry in the worst positions. All right, lost three Allied convoys in exchange for six subs. Five subs. That's pretty good. Another British sub. Two British subs in exchange for eleven planes. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, not bad at all, really. We've lost 30,000 climbing. The Italians have lost a lot. But so have the Allies. That's actually kind of reassuring that, you know what, we... Our ally might be losing a lot of strength, but we're not doing too badly ourselves. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, keep losing a lot of planes here, actually. It's not good. But let's see. Hmm, battlecruiser. Well, we're really losing planes more than anything else. 1940s stuff. I'm thinking artillery right now could be the most beneficial since we are using support artillery in our battalions. And that could give us a little bit more of a soft attack than anything else. Alright, not bad, not bad. Everything's still pretty good. Follow Nanjing, so despite all our efforts to help China out, they are still kind of crumbling. So be it. Nothing happened. And then sunken British sub. Not bad. Tanks. And... Oh, we can go to war with Luxembourg. Awesome. Uh, you know what? I want to finish this battle up first. Hopefully. Any day now. 
Maybe you guys can help put that at to rest. Awesome. Stop you guys for now. I'll put you around Luxembourg. And then we can have a massive front line with our divisions. And it looks like we're not really winning here, so go ahead and stop. Uh, does anyone have... Ah, oh, infantry expert. Yes. Very good. Go ahead and stop the attacks. Just go reform your line if you need to. No problem, no problem. We'll get them eventually. Tanks. Well, let's just put them out of their misery. Cool. And they're gone. Boom. And they capitulated. Very good. You want to attack? That's fine with me. Go ahead and try. So let's form up this now by going all the way down here to Saarbrücken. Now we have one united front. Oh my goodness. Four planes in exchange for nine subs and two destroy two convoys. Two subs. Allied convoy sunk. Eight enemy subs. That's pretty good. As well as another sub. What is the size of the British Navy right now? I mean, we've only been seeking subs from the French and the British, but... They still have quite a few ships. Wow. The French... Oh, the Italians have definitely broken through. That's good. Mm, they don't have a lot of manpower left. Ah, uh, there goes the T, and neither do the Italians. Oh, not bad. The French have less than 86 subs. Or... Ships. Hmm. Very good. Very good. Now, with the tanks here... A little bit of moment of time. Maybe we could push in this way. Oh, now they added some more divisions in there. Go figure. That's all right, though. We will definitely convince them to leave. Sedan has level two forts. That's fine. No problem. No problem. We got our infantry here backing us up, anyways. Very nice. Early sub hole. We only have so much fuel, though, left. So I don't want my guys to really go too far. I definitely want this position, though. And let's see. That'll be good. I really want to play around with the allies here. Let's see, we're going to do more manpower. Well, since we already have a lot of political power, fate of Greece, well, how is the United States doing? They are 47% of the way towards fascism. Not bad, pretty good. If I got rid of, like, Ma actually, let's get rid of Rudolf Hess, because he's going to fly away someday, probably. Uh, oh, what do we want? Uh, daily fascism support would be pretty good. Uh, Heinrich Himmler would be good as well. God, even if you say those words, are you going to get, like, you can't monetize this someday? Probably not. That's okay. That's totally fine. Hmm. Can't really build anything except, you know, forts. Um, we'll get a little bit less political power, but I think we're okay anyways. Let's get Himmler, uh, more manpower, effective partisans. I want more war support and daily fascism, fascist support, so let's go with that. Goebbels. Oh, all right, Goebbels, I guess you're in. Okay, we have the Hungarians. Oh, the Hungarians want to get in there. That's fine. Uh, let's see, tanks. I'm just trying to enjoy my game now. I'm not trying to, you know, kill everyone. No, no, no. I'm just trying to enjoy my time. Um, but my goal still is to invade the UK by 1941, or within 1941, some day. Uh, let's see, I definitely want this spot, but they the enemies know that this is a key spot to have. Go ahead, we'll start the attack, send all of you in, send all of you in, and send like two of you, you guys in as well. Tanks lead the way, and we're not using force attack, first of all, because we can't do it yet. Second of all, uh, I don't want them, my tanks, to really be really impacted too hard from this. Because the fighting is going to last a long time. I don't want them all killed off in one swift day. This will be a major battle there. Uh, early sub hole. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If we can push them over the river. That's good. Maybe get Sedan next. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, you have the Maginot line there. No biggie. No biggie. Definitely want more fuel. Uh, more construction, please. Thank you. Um, yeah. Poland. We'll turn you into an oil field soon enough. Yeah, I'll definitely do that. I, w I need more fuel. 
Alright, we're winning the battle, which is pretty good. Pretty good, you know, kind of figured that would happen. 69,000 losses versus a little less than half a million for the Allies. Pretty good so far. Without too many casualties from my tanks, which is good, even though we're not exactly winning the battle anymore. That's not good. But we're definitely wearing down the French military. And they are running out of manpower, which is a delightful thing to have. Very delightful. Very awesome. It looks like the infantry are kind of tired, though. 77,000, not bad, not bad. Awesome, we took it. I, I figured we would. Great. 79,000, the French have lost quite a few. Quite a few Italians have definitely inflicted the most damage. Fine with me. I want the tanks to heal up because we're getting Sedan next. I'm just playing around with these boys at this point. Now, for this battle, it should be, shouldn't last super long. So I'm happy you guys down here. Help them out a little bit. Hans Guderian, you're learning quite a bit, I hope. Gunther von Klug, I hope so as well. And Sedan is ours. We actually have French territory at this point. That is really great. If I go this way, can I get over the river? Because that's going to be key, so I can get rid of the Maginot Line here. Yeah, no, that's what, that's what I'm probably going to do. I'm probably going to go around the Maginot Line, cut all these guys off, and have a massive push through the center. Ah, oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Wow, that's part some French ships here. It's 38 destroyers, wow. Anyways, go ahead and stop moving. I want you all down here, because our goal is to drag a line through there. Awesome. Over 300 factories. That's pretty darn good. Tanks, go ahead. Continue trying to exploit this line. Awesome. Send half of you guys this way. And nothing was hit, probably. Eh, well, maybe it was hit, but we didn't sink anything yet. Get down to, like, right there. Send one division this way as well. Just in case. And send one tank to hold on. Cool. I'm actually going to tell everyone here to also reform the line. So that everything's still balanced. Balanced as everything should be. Just stay where you're at for now. You have the infantry come up soon enough. That'll be fine with me. Infantry, please get in there. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I see a hole. That's not good. I need you over here as well. Good. Oh, shoot. He's probably promoted. Come on, guys. Get down here. Uh, not bad. Nah. Even if we're not really attacking, our tanks are still defending. Doesn't look like the French really care too much. And we can replenish our fuel reserves. Which is, in my opinion, kind of key for everything here. Uh, looks like we have Rome done. What if we did this? We're going to go over here, and then we're going to do this area next. The Italians are kind of stalling out, which is fine with me. I just need my god dang infantry down here. Fate of Greece, let's see what happens. And then I definitely want more fuel. I've got to have more fuel now. Uh, more infantry. Cool. Oh, Greece submits. After a long and heated conversation with German ambassador, Georgios Kosmidis has announced that the Greek government will closely coordinate its policies with the German Lorek in the future. Police in the Greek capital had to use force to break up a number of spontaneous protests against this decision, with many in the crowd calling for the head of that coward Georgios Kosmidis. Show them wisely. Awesome. Ah, yes. Uh, yeah, that's good. Very awesome. So... The Greeks didn't give up their territory, but they decided to join the Axis, basically. Ah, I love a European Union. Well, we'll get be we'll definitely become a full European un Union before too long. Ah, glorious. Actually, I still need to get Lithuania's Mimel in here with me. Cool. God dang it, you stupid infantry. Hurry up. And, of course, we get cut off because the infantry just are so freaking slow. Uh, good MG42s, even 1940, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Heavy, better fighters. Good. Go ahead and defend. My good god, what's taking so long? Oh, you guys are getting attacked, that's what's up. Ah, uh, of course. Of course. You know what? If you're going to take forever, I'm going to send these guys around as well. Should you start from here? Come all the way to here. The French attack, whatever. 
I need divisions down here so we can close this area off. Awesome. Very good. We lost a couple things. Lost a plane. Lost three planes. I want to finish this episode by killing off France, but you know what? If my divisions decide to not move, there ain't very much I can do. Oh, and legendary Romania join the Allies. God dang it. Actually, that's a big... Oh my goodness. So the Kingdom of Romania is with us, but legendary Romania, which is fascist, decided to rebel. Well then. Well, crap. I'm going to send all you guys to help take out legendary Romania. So we got Greece, but the allies got legendary Romania. Go figure. Go frickin' figure. So I'm going to just send my backup... No, it's not really a backup army. I'm already kind of using them. Army over here. Good. Please get your ass down here. My gosh, you take forever. Oh, and we are getting unfulfilled import requests... From who? Ah, Guanzi Clique? No, 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 no. That is not good, but that's okay. We'll get some from... Ah, uh, whatever. I need that. From the Soviet Union. The Soviet Onion. Actually, we're so close to linking up with the Italians. Good job, Italy. I know I should have done more to help you out, but... You know, I can't control your actions. I can only help you. I can only assist you. Actually, that's really weird how legendary Romania spawned, but... And they took over almost the entire country. It's insane. Ah, improved artillery upgrade. Awesome. Better radar. That's next up on the docket. It looks like I can finally move these guys out and around. Come down here, and we're going to link up with the Italians. Finally. Thank the Lord. Go ahead and push down. And get this gone. Treaty of Krajowa. With Hungary's gain of northern Transylvania, Bulgaria is reminded of us of their long-standing bounty... Boundary dispute with Romania over southern Dobruja, seized by Romania in 1913. We will demand it from them. Well, because basically, Romania, you done screwed yourself up. You wanted to ally with the allies. Yeah. So, sorry, but not really sorry. Hmm. We're working conditions. I need more stability, but once we're out of this, you know, land war with the French. Um, you know what? Let's do some training. I don't mind doing both since we still get 0.64 a day. Don't really have that much of a use for uh, political power anymore. Awesome. I want you to start like here and just go ahead and slowly kill off everyone in here. Treaty of Krajowa. This is disgusting. Very disgusting. But that's okay. Uh, actually, it's going to be added over there. It's fine with me. Send the tanks in. We'll do some dirty work. Just go ahead. They're going to start losing. A lot of supplies eventually so you know I really wanted to capitulate the French in this episode but with this happening I don't think I really can oh well, maybe we might be able to but we decided to instead encircle the magnet line and tell him and teach him who's boss here even though I'm really honestly kind of concerned about my fuel supply at the moment I might be able to get some fuel from the Soviets though Yeah. That's not good. That's really not good. Cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, most definitely, yeah. We gotta get some fuel from the Soviets. Or maybe some from Iran. I don't mind supporting them. Uh, hopefully that'll help us out. Get rid of the Magnet line. That'd be great. And we could have definitely have a definite push. How close are the the, the French? Not really that close to capitulating, which kind of sucks. But, you know, whatever. Things happen. These guys are slowly getting depleted from supplies. That's good. Can infantry attack? Eh, that's level 10 for That's not good to attack. Can you guys attack here? Get a little bit of support. Get a little support here. Pushing them in. We will have to take Mets next. And, yeah, I think we're doing okay. We are tiring out some of the enemies, which is fine. We are out of fuel. God dang it. All right, screw it, Iran. Y you hurt me. You hurt me so much. I need more fuel, Soviet Union. Please, thank you very much. We're making nothing but fuel now. Um, Not bad, not bad. Not, not bad. Definitely playing around with the boys here in the French. French boys. Good. 
And we almost have one part of the... That isn't even part of the line. Holy crap. Send these boys in. And yes, level 10 forts do suck when you try to attack them. It sucks so much. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I should send my tanks the other direction. That might be a good idea. But, you know, let's see what the Italians do. They can do, they can do some land XP. Uh, Italy, you're not looking so good in Africa, at least. Yeah, that really isn't a good look for you. But we're doing okay down here, which is fine. Uh, you guys, go right ahead. Just end the Romanians. Those evil, pesky Romanians. Uh, we're out of fuel again. God dang it. Just go ahead and stop for now. That might help our fuel capacity maybe a little bit. I know our tanks use up quite a bit of fuel themselves. Uh, I'm going to have to get more fuel. God dang it. Uh, maybe not that much. That'll be good. There you go. That's better fuel. Uh, and yes, we cut these guys off. Awesome. Just kill them off. You know, I did say I didn't want to, you know, just kill enemies, but at this point, I, I, it'll feel kind of good for all of us. Come on, guys. And there goes Legendary Romania. Now that's a weird blue color. That's really weird blue color. Which is fine with me. Send these guys back to the front. You will surround what's less of, uh, left of the Magnet line. When you guys get down here, I will send every one of my infantry divisions from what my first group to uh, this, this side over here. Alright, improved infantry equipment. That's good. Ooh, let's do some air doctrine. So we can get a lot more air XP now. Go and take out Mood House. You should be able to take it out. Not too difficult. With, without too many difficulties. But then again, I guess we're not exactly winning. God, level 10 forts. So OP, man. So OP. And they're attacking, but not really winning. We're attacking, but we're not really winning either. Come on, just get Mood House. Oh, well, I guess we split this up even better. Huh. Trotsky survived assassination attempt. Oh, baby. Are you going to have some sort of, like, rebellion here now? Awesome, we took it. Screw it. Take the tanks. And come this way. I want you to help me cut off some land from the French. Good. Good, 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 good. We got Mets. Ah, oh, yes. Coal liquidization. Don't want to take in injured units. Come here. Take out Mets. Take them out here. Synthetic rubber. So we get even more rubber from our refineries. That's actually going to be pretty useful since we're negative 25 at the moment. Tanks? Where are you, tanks? You're doing okay? Doing okay? You guys are starving for supplies. That's good. And the tanks are good to go. I want you to be careful. Uh, I don't really want you to attack. Some guys are good to attack, some guys are not. If you can, go ahead. If you can't, whatever. Uh, logistics wizard or this. Let's go with that. As I am using some attackers right now. That's fine with me. And the Spanish want to help us out. Romania, yes, I will take your divisions. Send you back to the coasts. Ah, now this is how it should be. And honestly, Romania, since you decided to rebel against me, I should have given Hungary all of Transylvania. I made a mistake. Because of your actions against me, I should have given them Transylvania. Oh, we're gonna need an army general here under... Sieg Dietrich might be interesting, but he's politically connected. Uh, war hero? I kinda like Ernst Eberhard. Uh, or Eberhard, Eberhard Hell. Good, the tanks did a great job. Hmm. We could attack... I could split off the Belgians from the French. That would be fun. Let's do that. I just want to play with the French now, since they did that to me. Since it took so long trying to get around their Meganaut line. Awesome. Alright, guys, seriously. Just, just put them out of their misery. Strathborg. Very good. Very good. Very, very good. Alright, you guys, go ahead and do that. Wait for some support. We're going to go to Dunkirk. 
all but you. Come up here. Good. Actually. Come here, and then send you here. And upgrade you, and we've surrounded that. Great. Alright, let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't really want to move everything around, since this is taking way too long for this. Tanks, just hold on to your dear lives for now. Once this is all done, taken care of, we'll be fine. Come on. You gotta die. You gotta die someday. And there you go. Awesome. You guys surround the rest of the Benelux as the rest of you guys will basically do the same thing, but towards the French side of things. That would be great. Let's give them a little bit of time to reform themselves. And when we attack the Benelux, we will capitulate. We'll take all the ports. So we slowly encapsulate all of those enemies. But I think in the next episode, we will focus on the French first. Because, you know, maybe we shouldn't have Italy kill themselves, literally, on the enemy. Okay, never mind. They capitulated this episode. I didn't think that was going to happen. All right, then. We're going to end it here. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, if you liked the video, subscribe. Leave a like if you liked it. Uh, Italy, I'm going to need some of this territory. I know you did a lot of work, but whatever. Uh, yeah. I will see you tomorrow, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.